someone five meters. So getting back into our Jules front thumb, I reckon there's two things that we need to clean up. And my thumb. Yeah. That's what I always felt like made my pass spin faster. Didn't mean it was faster, yeah. but it is, it's really, really spinning. Video one is working on our front thumb drill. If I was to give you a big heavy med ball and to tell you to throw it, you'd use both hands for power and energy. When we're passing the rugby ball, we need to be able to use both hands to create energy, create spin, create power and control through using both hands. Quite often we see big over rotations from players when they're passing. Your front thumb can be a really good way to get control. That can get through to target, whether it's a flat ball over the top or going out the back. Our front thumb can be a really good guide on getting our body, getting our follow through, going to target. In this video, you'll see outtakes from the Rugby Bricks camp, from Aaron Smith, and also the NRL Bulldogs. Whenever we're passing, we're not just using one hand to pass the ball to bring all the power. So if I was to throw a pass to AC, if I just use one big left hand, we get that big over rotation, two hands aren't passing the ball. So this first part is all about bringing in my front thumb into the pass. So both hands are putting spin and energy through the ball. So the drill is just where you are standing, holding the ball. Your grip should be pretty fat around the belly of the ball rather than around the ends. And I just want to see little spins. And we're making sure that our front thumb is actively helping spin the ball. Just little wrist flicks. Coaches will walk around and have a look. I just want to see your front thumbs engaged. This is good when you don't, don't Nah, see I used it. to just <laughs> always do this, and that's was thinking of the fingers thing. Um, but yeah, I used to do that a lot, so I'd always just, before a game in the sheds, spinning the ball and I'm working on my finger and my thumb. That's what I always felt like made my pass spin faster. Didn't mean it was faster, yeah. but it is, it's really, really spinning. Yeah. So that's what I always like. And then all you change then is the power, but it still looks like it's spinning fast. So I'm not throwing a bullet, but being able to step out and then still give a catchable pass yeah. instead of the old leggy. Yeah, cool. You know, so yeah. especially those forwards running really hard lines, yeah. being able to fix someone and then just throw a nice little jab, all I change is the pace of yeah. my tricep power. It's just yeah, yeah. instead cool. of like giving those like lollies or yeah. yeah. Someone five meters. So getting back into our Jules front thumb, I reckon there's two things that we need to clean up. This is one, so elbows out, trying to find power here. So let's keep them here, plus relax those shoulders. So some of us, as we're getting through the reps, get bigger and out here. Stay relaxed, stay calm, and nose of the ball. So as we're starting to bring power, nose is going down, we get an ugly ball, cool? So just think about nose up the whole way, relaxed, punch, find your follow through, cool? Good rep. Let's go find a partner. <laughs> Building the habit, every rep. Take your time on the setup. Finish the pass. We got three minutes of quality reps. Finish it. Relax those shoulders, boys. Last part of the pass, your hands are kind of just chilling out. So I want you to win the last six, six inches of the pass, win that quicker. Because you can still look like you've got good technique, but unless you're getting through that last part fast, you're not going to get that zip. Really good, boys. Nice. 